Hello guys, it's Kai, that guy without any viewers on his YouTube channel. And today we are building another roller coaster, of course, and this time it's going to be a GCI. Mainly because I wanted to add a smaller, somewhat thrilling um, wooden roller coaster in the front with some terrain features because I already started construction on a, um, well, quite a big mountain in the side over there. And I just thought that it would be a good fit to just add a roller coaster as, well, kind of as a bridging gap again, but I definitely want to give it some pretty good airtime. And I think GCI is the perfect company for that, considering that they have a lot of very good family thrill coasters, so this is definitely going to be a step up, um, step up above that. That being said, this episode is not going to be as content heavy as the other ones. Mainly because I caught the Rona and I'm feeling kind of bad right now though. Not as bad as I did uh, two days ago, so well, you gotta keep on working. I wanna continue to pump out these episodes and who knows, maybe in like a day or something I'd have one viewer. Woo! So, my idea for this ride was to just create something that well, it should start off slow. But over the course of the ride, it just should speed up, and I really wanted to end it with like a very close to the ground, low to the ground section, uh, going in a trench. And this is a tiny, and I do mean a very tiny bit, inspired by Hades 360 at um, Mount Olympus, and of course it's going to have a Greek theme, so there's definitely some inspiration there, though not that much considering that Mount Olympus is just like. It's a shit show of a park, let's just put it like that. I don't know what's going on right there. I've actually never been there, but everything I've heard from it is just like... Like, like it's just barely a step above an amusement park. It is supposedly having like no maintenance on the rides and... Alright, I'm leaving it alone. Also, it's kind of weird to get inspired by a gravity group coaster when you're building a GCI, but... Oh well. Then again, I've only been on like pretty bad GCI so far, so, well, I'm not the, I don't have the best experience with GCI, let's just put it like that, though I definitely heard a lot of good things about the company, so I, I don't want to slander them or anything, I don't have any bad will towards them, I think they can be quite good, and especially with the Titan track coming, I'm actually kind of excited for what the future holds for them. Though this one is not going to be a Titan Track Coaster, mainly because I really wanted to move uh, very close to the terrain, and I just think that a Titan Track, or oh, well, just um, looking at the concept, because the force will have steel supports on the steel track, it, it fits more for like very high off the ground sections than something close to the ground, so I'm just going to build a more traditional GCI. As for the elements, I kind of kept to the traditional repertoire of GCI, which is just like a lot of just uh, jackdaw hills with some like off axis or a wave turn just thrown in there. I also wanted to add a station flyby, which I did. And I definitely wanted to not focus right too much on uh, the positive Gs. I actually ended up with just like I think four positive G's, which is still quite strong. Like a lot of just like mediocre B and M clones or something have like 3.5 G's, but this coaster is definitely not really focused on positive G's because of course wooden coasters never really are too focused on positive G's. I've noticed at least. But of course the station flyby is a bit annoying in Planet Coaster because when you want to edit the station um, you have to remove it or well just put it towards the side like I did. Um, but what I really wanted to do for the station was to just kind of build like a small like Greek temple and elevate it above ground on like a cobblestone or cobblestone base. And I just decided to first of all fill out the entire underground section with path. I'm probably just going to delete some of it because this is probably just going to be like a gift shot, maybe like a food court or something. Well, it would be quite a small food court, but anyways. Um, I also decided to fill in the track with a bit of wood and add a small switch track, which at this time I built out of wood, but I 
looking at reference pictures, I quickly realized that the switch tracks are actually um, from tubular steel track, which kind of looks a bit like the aero track, so I just went for that afterwards. Um, I'm definitely going to add a maintenance shots right there because, well, GCIs always tend to have maintenance shots. That's always like kind of just like a big well, feature of them, so I'm just going to build one. But of course, I don't want to add too much scenery at first because it starts to lag your game, and I want to finish this park. And if that means I will have to turn on scenery later on, then I will just do that and just finish it off with like like the bare minimum if it just starts to become unbearable. So of course, I'm going to start working on road courses first of all. Alright, what I wanted to build a bit more of was the train, and that's because I noticed that I always just kind of stop caring about my transport rides in my theme parks. So what I built here was a small Greek inspired station, it's, it's, it's mainly just a box with a tiny, tiny amount of scenery on it, and mainly just because I wanted to just put a light on a general theme and I didn't just want to fully into the Grecian uh, temple theme just because we are here in this like Mediterranean area and I just want like normal housing and you really do see uh, these very white houses with the blue roofs and like blue accents on it in Greece and just a very nice yeah, scenery opportunity to see from across the lake. Then of course I started work on building the cobblestone base for the temple I don't actually know if there's like any actual elevated temples or something, I had no real reference pictures for this. Um, but I really just like the idea of having like a foundation on it. And I built a little bit of an arch section right there, it's, it's, it's not really that great. It's kind of expired, but, uh, expired. It's kind of inspired by a station building for a water coaster at Europa Park. Though it's not a quite well, it's not really a great re representation of that because uh, it's well, very blocky and not very rounded, the arches. That's mainly because in this game, you well, the tools are not very that great, so if I wanted to make it rounded, the inside would kind of suffer, and while I don't really care too much about the insides of the buildings, I didn't really like the thought of everything just sticking out there, so I just went for a very simple, a simple arches. I want to see so much and what we get into here is a job that I didn't finish in this video which is going to be custom supporting this coaster. Yes, I'm going to attempt to custom support this GCI and I tell you, support custom supporting wooden roller coasters is just not fun. Luckily the uh, in-game support is actually quite decent for everything except for GCIs of course because they have these very, well, um, angled structures, well, the supports and planet coasters are very blocky. So I really wanted to build one because of the supports and I ended up kind of regretting it because I just wasted a whole lot of time on it and I am only like 5% um, of the way done. I don't know if I'm ever really going to finish it but I'm going to try though, not in the next episodes and I have the feeling it's going to be a while until I will end up custom supporting this thing. Though what I decided to work on then was the maintenance shed and of course I wanted to add a little bit of a catwalk and some rails to just kind of fake um, the switch track. I just quickly chose to just cover it with wood and add a small trim and at that point I started to notice that there's like this very cool like roof section um, that really fits into the Grecian theme that I didn't notice before and so of course I used that for the roof. So moving on from there I started to work on the, uh, well, the scenery I guess, on the terrain around it and I just started by quickly painting some of it. I don't know if I want to reshape a bit of it so it's not going to be quite final. And I want to have this like really like reddish muddy rock look with some grass and I then decided to add some plants and they are start with I didn't quite, uh, I, I didn't finish it at all and I must say I started spamming a bit of trees in the beginning which might have worked for like more of a jungle setting but it didn't really work out well for this Grecian theme so I ended up deleting a couple of trees again in the end but I think it all worked out quite well. 
And that's already the end of the episode. And so what we're going to do now is a very quick POV of the coaster just to get a small feel for it. So, didn't get too much done, though. I um, think I'm kind of happy with the coaster itself. I don't think it's the most thrilling thing in the entire world or something, but I just think it, it's quite nice for uh, what it does, and I really uh, like what I did with it. Though, of course, it's it's not really that much, and I definitely still want to pass and support it. But let me know what you think. Meanwhile, I really want to work on like stuff work on the African sections of the park. Though I also wanted to add a like Turkey section in between it, like maybe like more of an Ottoman Empire theme. Just to kind of bridge the gap between that and this Africa. Though I think I'm going to work on an Egyptian coaster in the next episode. Um, in fact I have already started work on it. And well I guess we're going to see us then. Have a good day or good night. See ya around.